good move for black would be to play knight takes d4. Knight takes d4. Okay. Attacking the queen and developing a piece. Or to play rook to e8. Additionally, it's worth considering exchanging some pieces to reduce the material advantage for white of white. For example, by playing queen takes d4. Or bishop takes d5. Bishop takes d5. Yes, I like that one actually a lot. Today, Martin is going to be challenging chat GPT to a game of chess. Let's get started. I'm going to say, let's play chess. One, E3. All right. I'd love to play chess with you. You can't see that, actually. Let me uh, do this so you guys can follow along. There we go. Let's play chess. All right. Here's the current position. What is it doing? Whoa. That's new. That's new. Um, well, I don't think that that's the current position because it didn't move the pawn forward, but good try. It wants to play e5. All right, let's see what happens. Martin's going to play a4. Wow. A4. The position is, <laughs> this is new. I don't think it used to say this. Oh, it's calculating the position. Let's see what we're going to get. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's, I mean, it's trying. Oh, oh, wait a second. It got a4 there. It did get a4. Okay, but it's playing valid moves. So we'll, we'll just keep going. We'll just keep going with it. What's Martin going to do? D4. 3D4. Solid move there, Martin. Martin's been learning. He's been practicing. Chat GPT is calculating the position again. I feel like this is a new feature because I played it before and it didn't used to do this. It's got some pawns up there, but it's it's also... Okay, he takes d4. All right. What's Martin going to do? He recaptures. He takes d4. It's really going to do it every move. Okay. And it, it's not moving any of those pieces, and it's just got that one random pawn that's, that's moving. Knight to c6, though. Valid move. Okay. What's Martin going to do? C3. 5C3. I mean, it's trying. It's playing It's playing good moves, though. D5. Okay. How's Martin going to respond? G3. 6G3. And here we go again. <laughs> Interesting strategy that Martin's going for this game. Only pawn moves so far. I feel like that's unlike... Uh, I feel like that's uh, uncharacteristic for Martin. Bishop g4. Very aggressive move. How is Martin going to respond? f4. Oh, no. So Martin blunders the queen. The big question is, can chat GPT see this move? Is it going to take the queen or is it going to do something else? Okay, we're still doing that. Bishop takes f3. Okay, well, here we go. Let's do a little explaining. Actually, there's no piece on F3. <laughs> the correct move would be knight to H6. Um, actually, your knights are on F6 and C6. What's it going to do? What's it going to do? We got two illegal moves here. Uh-oh. I feel like ChatGPT is having having a rough time with this one. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Okay, the correct move is knight h6. Okay. All right. How do I help it understand? You can't do that. Let's say you can't do that. Would you like to move a different piece? Maybe. D takes C3. So we've got we've got bishop takes F3. We've got knight H6 followed by another knight H6 followed by D takes C3. Should I just say Martin wins this game by default? By, or not by default, by um, 
three legal moves in a row automatically gives Martin the, the victory? I mean, I think so. Let me see if I can do this, actually. I have an idea. I'm going to copy the moves and see if this, this will help chat GPT. Okay. The current moves so far are... Okay, let's see what it's going to play now. Yes, the current moves are as follows. Great. The position is... We're going to try again with the position. Okay. <laughs> the position is right now... No, that's... I'm sorry. That's not the position. My move is knight to d5. Your pawn is on d5. You can't... Take your own pieces in chess. Knight to b8. We have a winner. We have a winner. <laughs> when in doubt and you can't figure out a legal move, you just play knight to b8. It's always a safe option. Okay. Whew. Game goes on. I was a little bit worried there that the game was over. All right. Bishop to e3. Chat GPT. I kind of want to ask it to stop telling me the position every turn because it's not really benefiting anyone. It's not, it's really not. D takes C3 again. Okay. I'm going to just, let's go ahead and get, get a couple things straight here. Can you stop saying what the position is and just move right away? Please, please. Of course, my move is Bishop G7. <laughs> um, your pawn is on g7 you can't do that try again try again knight to d7 well it didn't clarify which knight so I'm going to actually ask it would you let's see did you mean the knight on f6 to d7 or the knight on b8 to d7. The correct move is knight f6 to d7. All right. All right. Let's keep going. Oh, the bishop is... Wow. Nobody seems to know what's going on here. Okay. Number nine, bishop to d3. Knight b8 to d7. Oh, chat GPT. Can't do that. You already have a knight on d7. Castles. Ooh, good try, except the bishop is still there. You can't castle yet. Your bishop is still on f8. We'll see if it can come up with a legal move here. Like, wait, what did he just say? My bishop's still on f8? Bishop f5. Hey, we have another winner. All right, bishop f5. Game goes on. The game goes on. Look at, not, look at Martin developing the pieces. I'm impressed by that move. Okay. Bishop e6. Hey, that was, that was pretty good. All right. Wow. Wow. Bishop to c1. These guys like to undevelop their pieces. Bishop to c1. My move is bishop to d6. Okay. Now we're actually getting somewhere. We're actually getting somewhere. 12, a5. Okay. Bishop takes f4. Another legal move. I'm getting impressed with chat GPT here. Martin with the recapture. Knight takes f4. Queen e7. Chat GPT is on a roll. Okay, rook to a4. All right, this is getting getting interesting now. Knight to c6. Hey, hey. How is Chat GPT doing this? It's like it actually knows the game now. All right, 15. Knight a3. Knight to b4. It's on a roll. How many how many moves in a row was that? Well, rook takes b4. Martin is. Getting smart as well. All right, rook takes b4. A takes b4. Ooh. All right. Well, we had it. We had a good run. You can't do that. It's a white pawn on a4. 
C5. Well played. Well played. All right, let's go. We're going to finish this game. We are going to finish this game. Somebody's going to get checkmate one way or another here. Rook F to E8. Rook F to E8. You can't do that. You need it. You need to castle first. <laughs> All right. Well, it listens to instructions. Okay. Bishop to E3 from Martin. Queen to D7. No, no, no. Your knight is still on D7. No, the knight's on D7. Okay. The knight is already on D7. Can't move a piece to D7. Try again. Rook E7. Rook E7. The rooks are on F8 and A8. Do you still want to move rook to E7? <laughs> F8. The rook's already on F8. Come on, chat. G C takes D4. There we go. The game goes on. All right. Martin, queen takes D4. Rook A to E8. There we go. There we go. All right. Martin with knight takes D5. Why does it feel like Martin is such a strong player all of a sudden? Rook takes F1 check. Wow. All right. Nope. There's a black pawn on F7. C takes D5. Mm. No, no. You don't have a pawn on... I guess it thought it was on C6. Oh, chat GPT. You can't do that. Your knight is on d7. Rook takes f4. Let's let's actually help it out a little bit. I'm going to go back to here. I'm going to get the PGN for the whole game. And I'm going to share it. Or maybe I'll... Let me just see if it can understand the Fen notation. Here's the current position. Bishop takes d5. Oh, so I basically helped it, and now it knows that it can play bishop takes d5. That's actually pretty interesting. So that might be the easiest way to, to help chat GPT out if it gets confused. Just give it the, the fen. Okay, Martin comes out with queen takes d5. Nice response there. Let's see if chat GPT notices this little guy. And we're back to rook to f1 check. Okay, dude. Dude, you can't go through the f7 pawn with your rook. Uh oh, did I break it? What what's happening? That GPT doesn't know what's happening. In that case, rook takes d5. Okay. Let's try let's actually try that again. I'm gonna give it the fen one more time and see if that helps it out. Current position is Hmm Rook F eight. Nope, it's confused. It is starting to run out of moves. Um can't do that. Please let me know what would be a valid move in this position. Okay. I'm going to say, let's give it an option to take the bishop, to take the rook, to play knight to b6, or king to h8. Actually, I'll give it one more. How about meh, rook to d8? I'm going to give it these options. You can play one of the following. Uh, king h8. 
Rook to d8. Queen takes e3. Check. Uh, queen takes b4. Or knight to b6. Okay. Let's see what it's going to choose. You're king h8. It said 20, move 22. It's not move 22. All right. I understand what you meant. Of all those options, Chad GPT chooses not to take those, not to go here, not to go here. It wants to move the king to h8. All right. Well, I gave it the choice. I did give it the choice. Okay. 22, queen. Queen takes b7. That's a legal move, but it might not be the best. Whoa, whoa, now we're giving some instruction. Keep in mind that in chess, you want to develop your pieces and create threats while controlling the center of the board. You also want to keep your king safe and look for opportunities to put your opponent's king in check. <laughs> it's ironic. It's in it ironic. Um, okay. So what do you recommend black should play in this position? Do not have personal opinions, but I can recommend some possible moves based on the current position. One option could be to play knight to c6, attacking the queen and potentially winning it back. Play knight to c6 and attack the queen, potentially winning it back. Another option could be rook to f7, putting pressure on the queen, threatening to capture it with the rook on the next move. Now that's an idea I didn't think of. Capture my own pawn, jump through these guys, and take white's queen. Yet another option would be to play queen to a6, so the teleport move. Teleport the queen over here. Threatening the queen, putting pressure on white's pieces. Yes, you, you do do that. Ultimately, the best move will depend on a player's strategy and goals in the current game. Let's just, just, just curious. Chat GPT, what is your goal in this chess game? I just would like to know. You don't have personal goals. Okay. You're assisting users by generating human-like human -like text based on the input provided. In this particular chess scenario, my goal is to follow the rules of the game and to make valid moves based on the moves that are communicated to me. Okay. <laughs> Let's give it the PGN again and see what, what, it, what can it do. What can it do with this? Hmm. Here's the current position, current position pen. White has an advantage in material and central control. Black's king is somewhat exposed and their pieces are passively placed, making it difficult for them to mount a counterattack. A good move for black would be to play knight takes d4. Knight takes d4. Okay. Attacking the queen... In developing a piece or to play rook to e8 putting pressure on the white king and preparing to castle kingside additionally it's worth considering exchanging some pieces to reduce the material advantage for white of white for example by playing queen takes d4 or bishop takes d5 bishop takes d5 yes i like that one actually a lot however these moves also have potential to weaken black's position further yes i agree bishop takes d5 very risky move so, uh, do we want to do knight takes d4, queen takes d4, or bishop takes d5? Uh, okay. Well, thanks for the advice, but you lost the game. I'm just, I'm just going to call it. I can't, I just can't, I can't take it anymore. Do you want to play another game? Should we do it again? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think I've, I think I've had enough. I will ask it one question. I will ask it one question. What's the best chess opening for a 1200 rated player? I mean, I feel like this could be like helpful to someone. So let's see. What is the best chess opening for a 1200 rated player? A solid and straightforward opening that emphasizes safe development of pieces, control of the center of the board. A few options. Oh, okay. King's pawn game, e4. Aims to control the center of the board, develop quickly. The queen's pawn game, d4. So you got e4 and d4. The knight's opening, knight to f3. Wow, it's giving me all kinds of stuff. The Rui Lopez. All right, all right. Well-respected and solid opening. 
that aims to control the center. See, this is the kind of stuff that ChatGPT is actually pretty good at. When you just kind of ask it a question and it can sort of pull some nice information from Google, you actually get some really nice responses. So, um, okay. These print tools will help you make good decisions and improve your game in the long Well, there you have it, folks. I'm going to give this victory to Martin. I think Martin played well, uh, saw some captures, and ultimately, Martin didn't make any illegal moves. So props to you, Martin. Uh, it's something that I think we take for granted, that you never make illegal moves. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that one, and I'll see you next time. If you'd like to see another video with ChatGPT, let me know what you'd like to see. But as always, stay sharp, play smart, and take care.